Hello guys, it's Santa Clown Home here, and today making our 2022 video, and today I'm with some special guest. May you introduce yourself? Hey, Santa Clown Home. Joe Man Small. It's your boy El Bozo from Mexico. Is that everyone? I think so. Okay, those are amazing names. But today we're gonna be uh, today we're gonna be talking about Halloween prototypes that should be remade and released. So let's get started. Um, what prototype do you guys want to talk about first? Um, uh, I'll let the wizard go. I'm not still. So, uh, do you want to give like a basic uh, rundown on what that was? Oh, it's your video, Ryan. Come on, you uh, say. I don't know anything about this thing. <laughs> Okay. 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 is a, I, I was he like nine feet tall or seven feet, something like that. Whatever it was. He was a big, tall clown. Um, he, had, he was, Alpha was black and white and he had like long, stringy hair, I think. That was red. And then his arms would sway side to side and his mouth would move. Okay, good discussion, I guess. Yeah, he's made by Tacky yeah, and he looks pretty cool. And, uh, he was supposed, he was at, uh, he was supposed to be on J-Marcus, but, uh, yep. he fucking canceled it. I feel like he would be good to come back. He's a way good animatronic. Yeah. I don't, I really don't know why he was around. Speaking okay. about that, Lawn Reaper. Oh, yeah, that uh, one. Yeah. The Weaver. Oh, came out, yeah, they, they, they were basically, came out, like, at the same time. My dog are broken. Oh, okay. Lawn Reaper was, um, pretty much a basic Reaper that was tall as shit, and it moved his head side to side, I think. Wait, no, I forgot what he was, what the fuck did he do again? He moved his mouth, I think he, he yeah, moved, I think he moved, he moved his mouth. Yeah, pretty classic Halloween character, don't know why it wasn't released, uh, yeah. honestly, if he never came back, I wouldn't be too mad, because, you know, he's cool and all, but, like, he's nothing really sick. Yeah, he's not my number one pick to bring back, but he's still cool. Um... Another prototype I'd like to see back is that uh, demon clown by, I think it's like a grand tally creation, you know, like the green haired one that would really Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, yeah, like the head lifting, like Harvester. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that thing is fucking dope as shit. And it, it, it pisses me off that it wasn't released. Um, I'd like to see it remade again because it's probably one of my favorite prototypes, if not my favorite of all time. It's just, I don't know, something about it. Holy shit. It's only about it's just special. I don't know why. Yeah. It, it looks pretty cool. Speaking of the light of Techie once again, uh, I would really like the mad scientist that was with John Doe. Oh my god. How do you even oh get that? I don't know why when I released. That needed to come out. That was on uh, that was on Halloween Asylum, right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's a basic uh, rundown of what that was. Cause I don't right, so the mad scientist, I, I forget what he, he did. Well, it was compatible with, like, John Doe and stuff. Yeah, so he was, like, one of those MMIT-compatible animatronics, so... And then it showed a stock photo. I guess once he activated, John Doe activated, but... Um, and, it, and it looked like he was also fog-compatible as well, because he could yeah. see uh, uh, fog coming out of him. Uh, by the way, if he moves his uh, hands together, like... You know how he has, like, two wires? He would put them together. Oh, and that's what he does? And he would like move the two wires together and then uh, fog and then John Doe would go off. It's probably my second major prototype, Bloodbeard the Cursed Pirate by... Oh, Simon. Bloodbeard. Oh, yeah. We need more pirate yeah. animatronics. Oh, Bloodbeard was a uh, pirate zombie clown uh, that was at the expo uh, for, I think, 2013, right? Not the 2012 Morse code. Uh, 2012 Morse code was at the expo. Um, so 10 years ago. Um, yeah. Damn. Don't know why he wasn't released. There's not really a reason why most of these weren't released. It's just kind of just, I don't know, retail it. I don't know, like, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Well, the thing is that, like, obviously he was cool, but maybe he just didn't get enough orders because, like, at the expo and the stuff's shown, they usually don't get enough orders and they don't get released or stuff like that. I just beat him the line of SVI, Stumpy. Why? Oh, oh my fucking. fucking. The best, the best grave grabber. Yeah, in my opinion, I thought I think he's the best grave grabber. Now, they did kind of, kind of, oh, just a little bit, but they turned into like a fog prop. And yeah, like, Poly City, yeah. I think like, I, 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 I would probably get him, but like, still, they don't do nothing. The, fog, yeah. the new fog one is cheap and it's cool, but come on, let me like stuff. You continue. Alright. Um, 
eating the, the zombie with the horse, so that's pretty cool. And the YJ one? And the YJ. Yeah. So, that was oh, awesome. Um, in the, uh, what theme was it again? I forgot. Zombie, Wave, zombie Waves Plan 2011. Uh, why was it in May? Do you, do you know why? No idea. No. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone used to think it was like a fleshy, like a, like a prototype. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, yeah but, but that was, that was confirmed not to be true, you know, because of my whole, uh, theme pick. I think, so. I, I, I might be wrong, but I, I think, like, the zombie lifted, like, the torso towards his mouth or something. That sounds dope, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looked like it would do that. And yeah. I would like, I would like. You probably would have either do that or ripped off the head from the torso. Yeah. And I think originally he, I think he was when if like he was made or whatever, he would have took, taken the place where Eden Alive was. Yeah. Honestly, like yeah. the one Eden Alive, I'm not even. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Angel of Death, that one Dracula one, or whatever. Oh yeah, like the vampire looking one. That, that one. I don't know why, but. That thing is just dope. Like, seriously, uh, I would, like, would buy that immediately just looking at it. Yeah, you know, it's like a concept thing for it. It still looks very yeah, cool. like, it wasn't, it was only a concept was made, but if it was actually made, this would have cut, a lot of people would be really impressed in this would have picked this one up if it was made. I want to run for 2013 Morris, right? Yes. I'm looking at the Mike Cool um, thing, and then for the Zoe Wasteland, there was no techie stuff in it. Damn. Hmm. Monica, no. So I, I'm, I'm assuming that the Monica and Rosemary replaced him. That's what I'm assuming. They're, they're good, but I would like you know, like, Yeah, I would have liked, I would have liked the YJ sound more. But I probably, I'm probably wrong. So who knows? We, we don't know. It's just kind of a theory. Uh, uh, Prodigy yeah. would have been cool to come out. Prodigy, I love that thing. That thing is awesome. That would have been awesome to come out. I like that thing a lot. It's probably. One thing. Probably my favorite Roman prop. Yeah, I love the face on it. It looks very detailed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have no Roman to go. This is a uh, this is a 2012 Morbid Enterprises roaming prototype, and it was supposed to be like a I think it was like a weird demented hospital like patient type thing. Uh, but the cool thing about this one was because of the Morbid things, like sometimes they'd have like two animations, like the clown teeth and like tongue like they move their mouths or whatever but like this one would roam but he would also like make his rock side to side while he would which makes him like more disturbing they actually ended up scrapping him for another prototype in 2013 which was like a, a hanging version oh, yeah, 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 awesome. version. Yeah, I think it's just i mean i like it it's just yeah prodigy yeah. was just a better idea but both of them they at least scrapped that one to make another unreleased prop damn uh what else you know it'd been cool if it got made what? Well, it did kind of get made, but like fully the grandfather clock from the 2014 concept. I mean, they, that thing's, I actually really like that thing, holy shit. I mean, it kind of got made with the new Ray Sun table tumble, like, yeah. so it could have been a like cool life size. Yeah. Wait, uh, do, you, do we know what that thing does? I'm just guessing. Um, well, from the, from the photo, from the photo, it looked like it probably like walked back and forth and like the... The clock thing would like open. Another like, one that would have been cool is the Buzzsaw Clan by Morbid. Yes, um, yeah. I mean, listen, Morbid, like, um, I mean, they, like, 1013 was like their last prime year, I'd say. But they had so many good unreleased props, like, there's so many that they could have made. But, yeah. Yeah, the concepts are so good. It was like, so the Buzzsaw Clan was like, obviously, like, the Buzzsaw prop, but they, the saw was in the mouth and it hung. The, um, I don't know, I love Bone Collector, but I really do like the clown version that they had. I I, I really like the way the clown one looks. Oh, yeah, the, the clown uh, zombie barrel, honestly. Oh, yeah, like that, one, that one, I did, yeah, I like, I, I like that one more than the zombie one, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just... The, the zombie one is still pretty good, though, I like that one. Yeah, that's one of my favorite zombies, still. Like, the one that was uh, by Morbid that almost got released. What is it? Uh, I don't uh, know. Which one? Spider Call Reagan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have been the best one. This one was actually made, um, not released, but concept art and stuff. I, it was like crawl from the famous um, Spider Crawl down the stairs scene from The Exorcist. I think they had said in the concept that they're going to make the head spin on 360, which. Yeah. I mean, I, I, if, it's, if it's being accurate, I don't think they should have added that yet either way. 
went the crawling with a school, and it almost got released. Um, but when we were talking to Mark, the former CEO of Morbid, the reason why it wasn't um, released was because unfortunately the uh, mechanism was too complex. So yeah, had a lot of problems. Wait, can I just say something at the very end though, like about the prototypes? Just, just like you know, what we should do. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we should just say one prototype that we would want to be the released the most. Oh, that's not, yeah. that's all. There's so many good ones. I don't know if I can do we, that. We just got I got one, okay? Okay, I'll see, I'll see. Alright, uh... We had any uh, hooked clown. Yeah, that's good. That was like, um... Uh, it has actually the, uh, hanging buzzsaw face mold just painted differently. And it was, um... It was like a mix of between buzzsaw and asylum hang. Not only me, but a lot of people wanted. Okay, we're super bright. Oh yeah, this yeah. should be the last one. Yeah. Yeah. Because no, 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 no. I want to bring up one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, let me talk about the bride quickly. So basically, right. as a, I don't know why Halloween Asylum's dumb, but they had a video of it and deleted it, so only very few people had to actually see it in action. This was supposed to be released back in '09 of Morbid with, with the man and clown face strippers that were released. And that they had the most detail, that would have been my favorite one if out of the three if it was made. And you know, for these morbid prototypes, there's a hope we can see more, like, get, get, um, have these get a second chance because uh, Mark from Morbid's making it as the new company Deja Vu, which in the future he's eventually going to try to make recreations of morbid items. Some released, some not released, so this would be one I really want to see. And I like, I mean, I'd be fine with either the original, or if they want to improve it, they could also make it standing. Sorry for interrupting this video, but I sadly lost a lot of clips in this video towards the end. So I have to do my own outro now. We kind of lost some clips of us talking about other prototypes. But I hope you enjoyed the video still. We are going to make a part 2 if this video does well. So please, watch this video. But anyways, thanks everyone for being in this video and thanks for watching. So that's all I get, guys. So bye, and don't forget, the clowns are coming. Ha ha ha. Bye, guys.